Winter, it comes with the flu, seasonal depression, and more. Well, you can now add a dry eye condition to that list, and News 5's Jesse Schultz found that doctors are finding more and more kids diagnosed with that condition. When you think of dry eye, you probably think of the typical older patient. But I spoke with a doctor who specializes in it, and he says that's not the case anymore. Dr. Tom Chester has been treating dry eye for more than 20 years. But over the past few years, there's been a shift in patients. They're becoming younger and younger. The youngest he's treated so far, eight years old. He credits this shift to screen time. Too much time on those phones, tablets, and TV screens leaves our eyes vulnerable. We don't blink, which damages the surface of our eye and creates the possibility for our tear glands to dry up. And once dry eye is diagnosed, it never fully goes away. It's just managed. Dr. Chester is warning parents to keep a close eye on them when they're using those screens. One thing about the children and, and teens in particular is they don't typically complain about their eye health. And so it's important for parents or caregivers to, to watch or pay attention to uh, the children or even teachers to pay attention. If they, they see a lot of eye rubbing, if they see a lot of blinking or squeezing, um, it, it could be because the surface is irritated. Dr. Chester says he doesn't really anticipate this trend of younger kids coming in with dry eye to go anywhere anytime soon. It's important that if you feel like you or your kids may have dry eye, go to the doctor because the condition can lead to other infections too. Jesse Schultz, News 5.